What if I told you a professor lost 27 pounds eating Twinkies, Doritos, and Oreos? Sounds impossible, right? Let's break down what really happened in the so-called Twinkie diet. Back in 2010, Kansas State professor Mark Hobb wanted to make a point about weight loss. He designed a personal experiment to show his students that calories, not food quality, primarily determine body weight. For 10 weeks, he ate almost exclusively convenience store foods. Think Twinkies, Little Debbie's, Doritos, Oreos, but he kept his calories around 1,800 per day. And that's the key part. The outcome? In 10 weeks, he lost 27 pounds dropping his BMI from 28.8 to 24.9. His LDL cholesterol fell 20%, while his HDL cholesterol, the good kind, rose 20%. And his triglycerides dropped approximately 40%. Basically, by eating less, his health markers improved, at least in the short term. So what does this mean? It wasn't the Twinkies that caused the weight loss. It was the caloric deficit. Hobbs' experiment showed that even with ultra-processed foods, being in a consistent calorie deficit leads to weight reduction and short-term improvements in some blood markers. But, and this is an important but, nutrition isn't only about weight. Micronutrients, protein quality, fiber, and sustainability all matter for real health. There's no peer-reviewed study here. Just one professor's self-experiment. This only lasted 10 weeks and we really don't know what would happen long-term eating like this. However, this is a great teaching tool. Calories matter and weight loss comes from being in a caloric deficit, no matter the foods. Of course, for long-term health, you'll want to focus on quality nutrition too. So what do you think? Is the Twinkie diet a genius demonstration or just a little gimmick? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want more breakdowns of strange experiments and new research, hit subscribe and stay tuned.